let's see how we can simplify the square root of square root of 60 minus square root of 12. Let the square root of square root of 60 minus square root of 12 be equal to square root of x. Then we have minus square root of y. We can square both sides. Remember that the perfect square identity a minus b all squared is equal to a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. So this will get rid of this. And when we apply the perfect square identity, we have square root of 16 minus square root of 12 equal square root of x squared minus 2 square root of x times square root of y plus square root of y squared. So square root of 16 is 4 minus square root of 4 times 3 is equal to this get rid of this. So we have x minus 2. We give this to one radical sign and multiply them plus y. So this gives us square root of 4, which is 2, times square root of 3, which is root 3. So we have 4 minus 2 square root of 3 is equal to x plus y minus 2 square root of xy. So we can now compare x plus y and 4. That will give us one equation. We can also compare 2 root 3 and 2 root xy. So we have 2 root 3 is equal to root xy, 2 root xy. Or better still, negative 2 root 3 is equal to negative 2 root xy. Divided through by negative 2, we obtain root 3 is equal to root xy. Squaring both sides, we obtain 3 is equal to xy. We can make y the subject to obtain y is equal to 3 over x. We can call this our second equation. Let's put the second equation in the first equation. That gives us x plus y y is now 3 over x is equal to 4. When you multiply through by x, x times x will give us x squared plus 3 is equal to 4 times x, which is 4x. So writing this in the quadratic form, we have x squared minus 4x plus 3 is equal to 0. This is the quadratic equation we have. We look for factors of 3 that when we add, we get negative 4. And these factors are negative 3 and negative 1. When we multiply them, we get 3. Because the coefficient of x squared is 1, we can write this in factored form as x minus 3, then x minus 1 is equal to 0. So either x minus 3 equals 0 by the zero product principle or x minus 1 is equal to 0. If x minus 3 equals 0, then x equal 3 or x equal 1. When x equal 3, y will be equal to 3 over 3, which is 1. And when x equal 1, y equal 3 over 1, which is equal to 3. So, remember how we began? Root of 16 minus root of 12, all square root, is equal to root x minus root y. So, the values of x and y that will satisfy that equation, x must be greater than y. So if x must be equal to 3 and 
y equal to 1 so that we can get a positive square root so we will obtain square roots of 16 square root of square root of 16 minus square root of 12 being equal to square root of x which is 3 minus square root of 1 and this will give us square root of 3 minus 1 